it's Karen here from Frankie Dune Sustainable Fashion Resources. Today we're talking about dead stock fabric. What is it? Why does it exist? Is it sustainable? Will it be right for your business? Dead stock is leftover fabric that comes in a variety of ranges, all the way from natural fabrics like linen to polyester lace. One of the reasons why dead stock fabric is around is because of overproduction. This could come from the factory itself where the manufacturer has overproduced fabric, or this could come from a designer who has ordered too much fabric for their brand. So a fashion brand, maybe they overestimated their quantities, so they overordered. Or when a factory overproduces, there will be leftover stock. Another reason why dead stock fabric is around is because of unsold inventory from either the fashion brand itself or from a fabric retailer. And if fabric sits around for too long, that's going to be considered dead stock fabric. The third reason for dead stock fabric is because of test fabric. Fashion brands will test their prints on an alternative fabric of lesser quality. For example, a fashion brand wants to test a print out. They want to make sure that the scale is correct, that the color is working out the way they want it to work out. And they will do these tests on a viscose instead of, for example, they're wanting to have the finished product in a silk. And this is to keep their costs down. It keeps the costs down, but it also produces waste, which is what the dead stock fabric is. The fourth reason why dead stock fabric exists is because errors occurred. So there's possibly during the manufacturing process, there was uh, threads pulled or possibly the colors were incorrect. The print was wrong. Moving on to number five, why dead stock fabric exists is fabric scraps. Now, this is a little bit different than getting a bolt of say 20 meters of dead stock fabric. This, what I'm talking about here is the fabric scraps, which is usually the trimmings um, when you're cutting out your pattern pieces, all those little pieces that aren't going to be part of the garments. They're too small to do anything with on a larger scale, unless you piece it together. You know what would be amazing is if large brands, especially these brands who are claiming sustainability, if they put together small runs of their scraps. I'm gonna show you an example of a brand who is doing this and I think is absolutely genius. And imagine if, I don't know, Zara was like, I pieced together this blazer and it's all from fabric scraps. One of the brands that I've been keeping my eye on because I think they're doing some really cool things with fabric scraps is called Zero Waste Daniel. So Zero Waste Daniel is a New York based clothing designer and zero waste lifestyle pioneer who uses pre-consumer waste sourced from New York City's garment industry. So this is amazing. He's taking all the fabric scraps that are within New York not all of them, but you know what I mean. He's taking fabric scraps within New York. He lives in New York. And you can see here that his production is also taking place in New York. So he's really following this, um, let's call it a hundred mile diet for fashion. And they're living a zero waste lifestyle. So that's really cool. So not only is he keeping these practices at home, he's also doing it within his business. Let's check out the shop. Now, of course, it's not going to be for everyone. Um, the style, the taste, I think it's really cool. I think that to see someone piecing together garments like this is so much work what he's putting into it. And okay, this is cute. Ah, that's really super cute. Oh, and check this out. He's also, his garments are made to order. Okay, I, I wanna do, one of my videos coming up is going to be about made to order. Let me know if this is something you guys would be interested in. It cuts down, I think it's really great for businesses. It cuts down on waste, it cuts down on overproduction. Look at how much work is gonna go into these pieces. And also all of these pieces, every garment is going to be different. And he's clearly crazy artistic. And like he says here, no two pieces are exactly alike. Okay, so this is Zero Waste Daniel. He's clearly doing some really cool things in his business. His garments are really creative. This is really cool. So where does dead stock come from exactly? How do you know 
who the designer was who originally was using this as their test print fabric. And it could be a fabric designer, it could be a fashion brand, unless their name is along the selvage of the fabric. Chances are you're not going to know who it's from. Same thing as where is dead stock, dead stock made, which factory, which country. You're going to have a very small chance of knowing that. Now, is it sustainable? In short, the answer is no. Dead stock is not sustainable. The reason why it's not sustainable is because it's coming from overproduction. If there's always going to be a need for dead stock fabric, then companies are always going to see a reason to overproduce. Now, this is very cyclical and it's something for you to consider. And generally the fabric is not sustainable either, especially if you can't trace it. If you're not able to say that it comes from a certain factory and that factory received its yarn from another factory and that factory received the fibers from this farm, if you're not able to trace it, then you can't really claim that the fabric is sustainable. The, so the fabric being made in ethical manufacturers is pretty slim. And is the factory regulated? Is it a safe factory? You won't be able to know because dead stock fabric is not totally traceable. Although I do know of some fabric manufacturers, which I'll share at the end. So what happens to the surplus fabric if we aren't using it? Unfortunately, not good things. It'll either end up in a warehouse, which is a really sad place for fabric to end up or it'll be thrown out into the landfill or the worst thing that I can imagine is it'll get burned. Is it right for your business? Well you need to think about this. Here's the negatives. It does enable the over manufacturing and it's kind of a wasteful mentality. Another negative for me is that it's difficult to trace the fabric and the manufacturers. And another negative is if you are using dead stock fabric, that fabric generally is a one and done. Once you use it, it's not going to be made again. Now that's going to segue the conversation for me into the positives. I think one and done is a positive. I think having 20 meters of a fabric that you can use for your designs and that's it. You're never going to see that fabric again aside from what you manage to get out of 20 meters. That to me is a positive because it makes it exclusive. Another positive is rarely there's the minimum order quantities. The chances of you getting small minimums are pretty high. Oh yeah, another thing on the one and done that I wanted to say that I think is a positive is if you get tired of fabric like I do after you've sourced it, you've stared at it, you've pictured your designs on it, and then you've started working with it, you don't want to see that fabric ever again. You don't want to see the print. You don't want to touch it. Another positive is that generally dead stock is sold at really affordable prices. Now, if I compartmentalize uh, the sustainability and the pros and cons, and I just look at where we're at today in the world right now, I would still say that using dead stock is better than not using it at all because the fabric is already made, it already exists, it's here, it's available. There are so many positives to using that fabric to give it a second life. So where can you buy dead stock fabric? The Queen of Raw is probably one of the most popular companies who sells dead stock fabric and they are based out of the US. I believe they're based out of New York. And the Queen of Raw platform has a ton of suppliers in it. The second supplier out of the US that I want to talk about is Fab Scrap. Now this company is what they have is, I believe what they do is they accept donations from brands, from designers, from interior designers and they sort out all the scraps and they have two warehouses. One is in New York, maybe Manhattan, and the other one I think is in Brooklyn. And um, you can buy scrap fabric from them. If you're interested to learn more about dead stock suppliers, head over to frankydoon.com where I offer access to my curated list of sustainable fabric suppliers, specifically suppliers that offer low minimum order quantities. I just remembered, I was about to finish up the video and I just remembered, I wanted to clarify something. Dead stock fabric is not the same as remnant fabric. Remnant fabric is in a tote, five totes down, so I can't pull it out. Dead stock fabric is excess fabric that you can usually find on a bolt, like this, a bolt, meaning like you've got some meters in there. Remnant fabric is when you're getting about one meter, maybe less, maybe a little bit more, like two meters would probably be max. And that is when the roll is almost done. 
and all you have is about this much fabric left to sell. Enough for kids clothes or a cushion or I don't know, a tank top or something. And it's a small amount of fabric. That's what remnant fabric is. Dead stock fabric, you'll get a little bit more. Remnant fabric, you're going to get enough for maybe one piece. Okay, thought I'd come back and clarify. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you found this video helpful and informative and maybe you'll decide that you're going to use dead stock or fabric scraps for your brand. And we'll see you next Tuesday. Dead stock, blah, blah. No, scratch all that. The first, the first, the first. Ah. So let's stop saying so. Thank you.